Mmm, actually really good. Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and that was me trying Nougat for the first time because Android 7.0 Nougat is finally here. The official build is here. I have it installed on my, Nexus, uh, my Pixel C along with my Nexus 6P. Other various Nexus devices will get the OTA update. I'll talk about those in the description. But anyways, let's get started. As always, I do a full review of all everything that's new, all the new changes, including the new multi-window, other various things as well. So let's go ahead and check out Android 7.0 Nougat. I've got my Nexus 5X, my Pixel C, along with my Nexus 6P, which still does have that wood slick wrap on it. And I will be doing revisited reviews for all of these devices now that they do have Android 7.0 Nougat. I'm going to go ahead and revisit the devices after this update. Now to start, the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and jump into settings, scroll down, go about phone. You'll see Android version 7.0, and this is the official build, not a developer preview. Quickly tap on that to get to the Easter egg, and this time the Easter egg's a little bit different. It's not a, uh, necessarily a flappy Android game. You'll see a, you press and hold on the N, and a little cat will appear right there. And then you can actually customize your toggles, hit edit. You'll see a toggle here that says Android Easter egg. You can press and hold and drop that up there. And then what kind of happens is if you uh, an empty dish will appear, you can select it and pick a specific food. So if you put a treat there um, and leave it there for a little while and eventually it'll say, oh, found a cat. And then you try and find all the different cats. So that's what Android decided was their Easter egg this time. Now you'll notice the launcher looks very similar and I believe that's going to come as another update from the Play Store, not necessarily an Android update. And it might be coming with the new Nexus devices. So you might have to wait for that to come out for the launcher to be updated. Now, you'll notice throughout uh, the video, things have been updated visually. So that pull down bar, completely updated. You'll see you have some toggles up here that you can actually just tap on to toggle them while they're smaller right there. And you can go ahead and expand them by pulling down again. And as I mentioned earlier, you have a bunch of various ones that you can add, data saver, invert colors, cast, and you can edit and uh, move them around as well, which is a great feature, of course, if you want to have specific toggles before in, in that uh, smaller settings, you can. So if you want airplane mode up there, you can just rearrange it up there. And then you'll notice the notifications have gotten a revamp as well. So a little bit different. One of the great things about these new notifications is that you can expand them still by pulling down. And of course, you can swipe away individual notifications. And then also, if you expand the full notification, you have a quick reply option. So you can quickly, uh, I don't know why it's, there we go. You can quickly press reply and type and just send a message back. And that's on a per app basis. So Twitter, I know you can do it with direct messages and uh, developers will just need to implement that into their apps. Um, there's a little arrow as well that you can tap on to expand and contract these notifications. And also with Gmail, I'm actually gonna grab my Pixel C to show off these Gmail notifications. When you expand it, um, it's going to expand almost all individual emails and then you can go ahead and choose which specific ones you would like to uh, expand and then uh, go ahead and interact with whether you wanna delete or reply them. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, it is completely uh, a different look to them just overall a little bit different and it kind of compiles all the notifications into one at one spot now another way to interact with these notifications is you press and hold on them and you can actually uh show notifications silently you can block all notifications or do not silence or block so that's just a quick way you can get to those you can also swipe over and you'll see a little settings button pop up on both sides if you do that you can go ahead and tap that and it's going to bring you to the exact same menu Another update is multi-window, and finally Android has a multi-window option, and there's various ways to get to that, one of them being in your recent apps. Press and hold on one of the apps, and you'll see drag here to use split screen. So you go ahead and pop it up there, and it says app may not work with split screen. That might be with uh, a lot of various apps, but you see it works just fine, and you can spe select a specific app to have right here. Options include uh, resizing the different uh, windows, so you have a bar here that you can pull up and pull down. Uh, if you go ahead and um, rotate it horizontally, that's an option as well. Now, let's say I interact with one of the apps and I tap on my recent apps. It's going to bring it back to those recent apps. Um, so you have that option. And then also if you press and hold on uh, the recent apps button, that's going to take you out of that multi-window. Now, if you press and hold on it again, that's another way to get into that multi-window. So pressing, holding on that button works just fine. And then, of course, if you press and hold on it, it takes you out of it. Now, another op uh, another function of the recent apps, which I really like, it's like an alt-tab function in your keyboard. You press it once, press it again, it's going to switch you into that other previous app. So you can just go ahead and quickly swap between your first two apps in your recent app tray. And then also about the recent app tray, you have a clear all button all, all the way up at the top. 
And now you'll notice there it really won't have nearly as many applications loaded in the recent apps. They actually will start to clear them out as you don't use them, which is nice. It's not going to be super cluttered and you can get up to that clear all button. It wipes them all away. Now here I am watching a YouTube video as you can see. Now I want to go ahead and show off how you can actually use it as a function for the split screen. So you'll see it says app may not work in split screen, but YouTube works just fine while you're gonna go ahead and go to your calculator, maybe you just go like this, or send a message, a text message, etc. But here's it working on the Pixel C, just kinda wanted to show that off. And of course, you'll see YouTube videos working fine. So great, you can watch YouTube and also interact with other apps at the same time. This update also includes Unicode 9 for emojis, so a lot of new emojis, along with updated ones, updated looks, color options, you press and hold on emojis as well. Here's a look at some of the new ones. Next, I wanna go ahead and hop into your settings because that got revamped. So first of all, when other various settings are on, such as airplane mode or do not disturb, it brings up a colored option right here that you can have a drop down, and it says, it lets you know what it's doing, and then you can also turn it off if you'd like, and then same with do not disturb, you can turn that off as well. So that's up there. You have suggestions which you can actually minimize and maximize. Uh, you'll see you can use your voice, change wallpaper. It's gonna add certain suggestions and you can remove them as well. If you do not wanna see any of, this, of the suggestions, you just go ahead and remove them all and they go away. Now also with this new look, you can actually swipe over and you'll see you have some quick shortcuts to all of the various settings. I don't know if I really like this. It's really strange how they do this, but if I want to jump into display, you'll see that drop downs up there in the upper left hand corner. I switch to battery, let's go back to display. So you'll see you can quickly swipe between other ones without having to press the back button and refind the new settings. But speaking of display, let's go ahead and you can actually change various sizes. So you'll see display size can be changed, which is new. So you have default, larger, largest, and all the way down. So you can kind of change that depending on how you like it, which is awesome customization options, font size, which I think has always been there, but you can change the size of that as well. Now also, I want to make note, there's a Daydream VR in Android 7.0 um, Nougat. So you'll see when devices in VR mode, just gives you an option right here, use low motion blur settings or do nothing. But well, that is coming very soon. I'll do a video on Daydream VR once it's, more, uh, once it's available. And I also want to talk about one of the new smart lock functions under security settings. And you'll see Trusted Face is there. They have actually updated Trusted Face. So uh, you can actually set that up for best results, hold at eye level, etc. So you, it goes ahead and uses the front camera to look at your face and actually get some facial recognition to actually unlock your device. So that's just another update that they have uh, included in Android 7 to make trusted face a little bit better. Another update is with battery life. Battery life should be better on Android 7.0. As you can see, um, it actually included Doze and Marshmallow, but now they have Doze on the go in Nougat. So like my 5X right here, just sitting here, it's probably saving battery life, just kind of chilling there, not being moved. But if you throw your Nexus in your pocket or any device on Android 7.0, it's still gonna utilize that Doze, even though you're moving your phone around, it just will recognize if you're not using it it will go ahead and go into that doze mode and actually save battery life. So expect it to be a little bit better on Nougat than Marshmallow. Overall, Nougat feels very snappy and quick. Lots more to come in my revisited video, so make sure you click that subscribe button. And of course, there's a couple other things that I can't really show off yet. Uh, one's the uh, Vulkan API, which is going to help with 3D graphics once developers start implementing that into their games. So expect some better 3D gaming coming soon. And also seamless updates. So if you go to about phone system updates, it's gonna do a better job at updating the device in the background and not completely interrupting your device. And uh, just overall boot time should be quicker as well on Android 7.0 Nougat. So that's pretty much it. That's everything I wanna talk about. Lots more to come. I will do other videos on Android 7.0 Nougat as well in the future, so stay tuned for those. Click that subscribe button as I mentioned. And as always, guys, I really appreciate you watching. Thanks and have a good day.